Okay, my friends, all zoomed in and here we go. I'm going to be using the Savannah palette from C Color Cosmetics. This is the dupe for the T Natasha Denona and I always forget which one it is, but I'll make sure I list it up here on the screen for you guys. We are just going to be doing an extremely simple eye, very neutral tones as well. The most neutral tones in here to me are these right here. By the way, this whole entire palette is matte and it is a very fraction of the cost. Um, I'll make sure I list it up here. If you get it on the C Color Cosmetics website, it's, it's much cheaper than if you get it from Amazon, but I only wanted this, so I got it off Amazon because it washed out as far as the shipping goes. So I'm gonna start right here with this color in the corner. It is kind of a neutrally, I don't know exactly what you wanna call it, but it's a very neutral saddle brown maybe. And I'm just using a Zoeva brush. This is called the Soft Definer. And by the way, before I do my eyebrows, I always do my eyeshadow primer, which was Anastasia Beverly Hills. No surprise there, right? Um, but I always do that because I like to put a little bit of the primer into my eyebrows to hold my um, whatever brow product I'm using, hold it on there all day. So that is already done so make sure you use a good primer on your eyes and then I'm just going to go right in here into this corner out here and I'm just going to lightly buff and press to get a transition transition color I don't want to go too dark because as the title said this is very neutral and very soft so we're gonna be doing the same techniques that I do on all my other ones, but we're just not gonna be using as bold of colors, which I'm sure a lot of you appreciate because um, I know that a lot of you work in offices and you have other jobs and you just can't wear those bold colors on the daily and I understand that 100%. So we are just um, gonna be doing just a little bit here and basically all I did was I went out from the tail of the brow and I didn't like come down right here. I just went out there and I'm just pushing it across. Little bit of an arch there just to give it that transition color, but not too crazy. Gonna dip back into the Savannah palette and I'm gonna take this chocolatey brown color, same brush, and I'm just going to load that up a little bit. And then I'm going to put that more into the crease and just stick down there into that crease not bringing it up very high. It's gonna do that because it's a little bit of a fluffier brush anyway, but when you use one brush, you have one less step, right? I'm just trying to give a very, very soft look to this eye, so I'm not doing anything terribly crazy with these colors. Plus, they're very neutral colors, so you can get away with a lot. Okay, so right now I have a towel on my lap all the time, and I just will take that brush and I'll wipe it off really good. And then I'll go back in and I will just push that color out a little bit and just get it blended really, really well to where you feel like you've got a really nice blending of both of the transition part that we were looking at and then the deepening part of the crease color. Super simple, right? Okay, now I'm going to just take a flat paddle brush. This one is from uh, Juvia's Place, and this is called a small definer brush, and it's just flat there. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm just going to pick up the lightest color, which is this corner in the color right here. It's kind of got a little bit of a flesh tone hue to it, and I'm just gonna really load my brush up with that. And then I'm gonna make sure I tap that off well. And then I'm just going to come into the corner and see that is not picking up what I need to by any stretch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it on my finger. It's just always works a little bit better when I do it on my finger, I can deposit more color. And it just seems to be one of those things that I have to do. So I'm gonna use the, the same thing on the other side with my other finger. See how much more that deposited and it's quicker too, which I love about that. So now I'm gonna take that brush again, go back into that dark color one more time, tap it off, but this time I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna just pinch the brush a little bit and I'm just trying to work with one brush so it's a little bit faster, like I said. Pinch that brush a little bit, deposit a little bit more color and then just fluff it across. And then do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to go into the waterline. I'm going to use the Rimmel Nude. This is the Scandalize Eyeliner. I'm just going to use that. I'm gonna put that into my inner rim. 
little tip for you, put it into your inner rim on each side. Then after you're done with that side, go back into the other side and do that one again. Those two coats are gonna help it stay a little bit longer. Okay, now one of my very favorite new eyeliner lines is from Ardell, and this is the Wanna Get Lucky, and this one is in brown. And I just love these liners. They last like no other. I just absolutely love them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to catch that bottom lash line and go in there about, oh, a third of the way across with both sides. Then I'm gonna take my ColourPop pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge that out across the bottom pretty well and link it with that outside shadow right there on the corner and that gives you a prettier look. Now once you smudge it, you can go into that dark color that you had if you want to and you can kind of deepen it up. The other thing that that does when you use a little bit of shadow on top of your eyeliner is it helps it to stay put all day. Makes it just a little bit softer as you can see from the two and then like I said, it melds with the shadow. The eye, the eye shadow melds with the eyeliner and it gives you a more long wearing look. I know I'm going in between these two palettes, but I like the mirror better in this one, just so you guys know that's why I'm switching. Then I'm gonna take the Milani Bronzer. This is the Silky Matte one in 01 Sunlit. And instead of doing all the contouring I'm doing and everything, I'm just taking this huge fluffy brush and I'm gonna make this work for everything that I need. Now, normally I need to do up in my hairline because I did that video with the big forehead one where you have a high forehead and you need to bring it down. Well, I still do. And so I'm going to be taking my bronzer in there. You can pinch that uh, bronzer brush if you want to and just take it across the top there and bronze up that area. But what that also does besides bronzing is it helps to pull down that forehead a bit. And then you can also pinch the brush and just go in here and give yourself a little fake cheekbone. And little side note on that is don't bring that uh, contour any further than the middle of the color of your eye or the pupil of your eye. I find that if I bring it any further in, I can just look like I've got something fake across my cheeks and it doesn't really, you know, mimic the look of high cheekbones. It just looks weird. So I don't do that. And then of course I go down my chin because I don't want my big chin to show. And if you have these little gel things right here, like I do, you can go across there and kind of disguise them with your brush pinched and then just go across and make sure that it's really, really blended because you don't want it to be a line of demarcation. So you're going to come up just a little bit on the gel line, a little bit on the chin, just to make sure that it's really blended. And then you can go down and you can bring the bronzer down onto the decollete or your chest as well. And it just brings all the colors kind of together. So you're kind of wanting to make sure that you're bronzing up pretty good. I do anyway, because I'm so pale that I have to do that because, oh baby, I just look like a white, almost see-through look to my, it was one of you guys said that to me the other day and I'm like, I know that feeling, see-through, looking see-through all the time because you're so pale. Okay, sorry about all of the clanking down here. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush, and of course I can't see that. Soft Rose, I think, Soft Rosy, I'm not sure. And this is my very favorite blush brush of all time. It's the It Heavenly Stipple Brush. You can get this um, on, I think it's QVC that you can get this. And I'm not gonna go crazy with the blush because I kind of went crazy with the bronzer, but I do want a little bit of color across my cheeks because you know a little bit of color makes you look alive anytime you can use a stippling motion instead of a brushing motion i feel like you get a little bit softer of a look and you can have a little bit more control over your blush how much you put on and also how much you're blending too because it can get a little bit carried away so i feel like i might need just a little bit more on this one side just a tiny bit and again, I don't bring my blush onto my cheeks right there because I don't really have that, you know, that look, that natural look right there. So I have a lot of redness there anyway that will come through during the day. So I kind of stay away from that middle part with my blush a little bit. Then I bring it down my nose, across the forehead and the chin just to kind of tie the look together. All right, and then as a last step, um, usually if people are going to the office or something like that, they don't necessarily want to have a beaming highlighter. So the Milani Prep Set and Glow is fantastic for this. Now, now I did already set 
my foundation with a little bit of powder and then um, the hydrating setting mist from Flower Beauty. It's right here, by the way. And so that's already done. But if you want a finishing powder, you can either just swirl all over and go all over. What I'm gonna do today is I'm going to take the side of it, I'm gonna go in there a little bit heavier and then I'm just going to stick right there onto the cheeks, on the top of the cheeks because what I wanna do is I wanna have a little bit extra glow there. I am gonna take this all over my face in a second, just to have a more natural, very radiant look to it. But right now, all I'm trying to do is just make the tops of the cheeks look a little bit lighter and brighter so that it catches the light when you turn like that. And then I'm going to take that big brush and I'm just gonna swirl all over and I'm just going to, again, hit the high points across my face, definitely down the neck and across the chest. I love that look too. And I wanna show you guys something really cool that I learned really just very recently, actually off of the Scott Barnes channel. Uh, he is JLo's artist, he was on Toddy's channel, all that good stuff. He's a great, great, great makeup artist. I really like him. But I'm going to take a little bit of contour and I'm gonna put it on a teeny tiny brush. I got these brushes, sorry, during the holidays um, from Morphe. It's a tiny, tiny brush. It doesn't even have a name on it. Um, but I'm gonna take that and in order to give me a little bit extra pout, I'm gonna take it below my natural line on my lips. And if you guys saw him do that, it was the coolest thing ever. All of a sudden, it just looked like she had this big pouty lip. So I love this. And then just barely on the Cupid's bow in the middle. That part I'm really careful with because I don't want to look like I have a dark mustache up there. But this part down here, just go ahead and really buff it out. And then when I have that done, I'm going to take this Rimmel lip liner, um, long lasting lip liner, and it's in mauve shimmer. And I'm just going to line right below there, right there where I was at. I always go right directly on top of my lip line so that a little bit of the liner is out and a, you know, a little bit of it is in act, the actual lip line. It gives you a much fuller look on your lips and again on the top. And the lipstick that I chose is Romantic Rose from Milani. And I'm just gonna put some of that on. And the lip gloss that I chose is the Keep It Full and this one I believe is Starlight pink, sparkling pink. I always get those. I can't see that little stuff, you guys, unless I get my glasses. I'm just gonna tap that right in the middle, just barely in the middle of the lips. Press the lips together. All right, go back with that Milani Prep Set and Glow and use that flat paddle brush. And what we're gonna do is we're going to lighten up this inner corner right here with that because the look is already matte, so we don't need to be using like a eye shimmer in there, just something to brighten it up a little bit. And then as the last step, I'm going to be using a brown liner. I thought I had a drugstore brown liner, but apparently my daughter swiped it or something because I can't find it. This is the Tarte Tartiste um, liner. It's the dual ended one. So it has the pen one on this side or the felt tip one on this side, and then it has the coal one on the other side. So I'm going to curl my lashes, tight line my top lash line with this. Then I'm gonna put two coats of mascara on and I'll be back to chat with you just a little bit about the look. Okay, you guys, that is it for the makeup look. I hope that you enjoyed the finished look. I really wanted to bring you something very neutral because I know that not everybody can go out there and rock those bold colors all the time. But at the same time, what I think is so neat about this palette is that if you wanted to, you could still stick with neutrals, but you could also go a little bit more into like new neutrals, you know, like the um, Huda Beauty palette. They had the new neutrals where they were the berries or, you know, you could come down here and you could go into the slate colors with the blues and you could just really utilize this palette to your best advantage because 
it's all matte and they're all very silky and they're all very blendable and I really recommend that palette. It does some really fantastic looks. I usually have somebody ask me what my earrings are. You guys, usually my earrings are a million years old and these are no exception. Um, I got a lot of my earrings from Shopco. They've shut down now. I even have some from Mervyn's if everybody remembers Mervyn's or not from years and years ago. So if you can still get the earrings that I'm ever wearing, they will be listed. Same thing with my shirt. This shirt today is just one I got a thrift store. I'm a big thrift store buyer as far as all that kind of stuff goes. So this one I got at a thrift store and if I can ever, you know, if I ever have a time when I actually have the actual product link that I can share with you guys, I sure will do that. But uh, yeah, and you always ask about my nail polish too. And that's usually Zoya. That's easy to link. So I'll make sure I do that too. So I hope that you guys did enjoy the tutorial. So thank I you so much for watching today. I love you so very much. Hope everyone is happy and healthy and I'll see you in my very next video. Love you. Bye-bye.